what's up? I have another video, which I'm so excited about because it'll be a little different. I've had such an insane week with school and just family stuff going on that I thought I would do something a little different and talk about some of my favorite beauty products at the moment. A lot of them are new, which I'm excited about because it's fall and I wanted to kind of experiment with my eyeshadows and my lipsticks, but yeah, so let's get on to it. Uh, the first thing I'll talk about since I was talking about eyeshadows, um, I just bought this Lorac palette. I'm pretty simple with my makeup. I'm not really into doing anything crazy. One, it's because I'm a little lazy, and so I'm not too big on doing so much makeup all the time. I love it. I wish I had the patience for it. I'm just a little lazy, so I don't really do too much makeup. So I'm super into neutrals and browns and silvers and grays, but I really fell in love with this one. It's by Lorac. It's their unzipped palette, and I fell in love with this like deep, rich purple color called Unbrittled right here, and then all of these highlights I thought would just be a great addition to have in my collection. So, so far I really love it. I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm wearing Uncensored, which is a bronzy brown. Love that. And another palette is by Tarte Cosmetics. I love blush. If it's not, I just, my basics and my staples are blush, mascara, um, eyeliner and concealer. So this is great because it has a variety of colors. I'm all about blush. I don't know. I just love that little rosiness. I'm wearing prim or smashing. I can't see. I can't even remember what blush I put on. But yeah, I'm super in love with it. I'm also not really so much into cosmetics because I have a sensitive skin and I like organic products and I don't always get organic products because there's just not many organic skincare lines that are giving, you know, eyeshadow pigments and um, sometimes the foundations make me break out. So um, when I can do organic and a little bit more healthy, not so many poisonous products I try and Tarte is always a good go-to. Um, they're all about being organic, not tested on animals, and so I'm always pretty happy with their stuff. So this palette is called the Bling It On. Really like it. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is some deodorant. Uh, this is by Fresh. It's their Sugar Roll-On Deodorant Antiperspirant. I go back and forth with my deodorants. I really like to keep it fresh and organic, but that's always not an option because it's aluminum that kind of does the antiperspirant and protects and conceals all the odor. So I've even made my own deodorants before. Um, I have sprays, but sometimes I just get frustrated because you don't want the stench. So um, at the moment I've been, I was using Dove and right now I just picked up Fresh and so far so good. Really liked it. Um, it's a good one. Next thing, speaking of Fresh, I'm going to talk about perfumes. I'm all about perfumes and smelling good, just something that I was brought up with. So there's certain things I'm all about being organic and fresh and natural with, but there's certain things that I don't do and I can't give up my love for perfume. It's one thing I just can't let go. I like to smell good, I like smelling good people, it's just something I love. And so, new thing, this one's by Marquesa. I wanted to try it so I got the roll on and I'm really feeling it because it smells like freesia, it's white flowers, it's really fresh and almost baby powdery. And I like to try perfumes before I buy because sometimes I am allergic to things. Uh, another reason why I like organic is because I've, I'm really sensitive with scents and uh, body washes and whatnot and perfumes and sometimes I get a scratchy throat with certain perfumes. This so far has been great, uh, love that. And I also bought the hair perfume their hair mist. Um, so since I have dry, thick hair, I can get away with not washing my hair every day. And I can get away with a week, to be honest, and uh, as long as I have some dry shampoo. But I'm excited for this because there's only so much dry shampoo can do to make you feel fresh. And I think a perfume that's for your hair and just spray it in, slight mist. Hell yeah, I'm so excited for this. So this is new, I've used it couple times already really loved it it was just that extra scent and I don't know if you know but I was brought up layering scents so 
when you can have the perfume on your body and then you have something for your hair, that's awesome. I know hair perfumes are a new thing, but uh, my mom taught me that you, when you buy a perfume, buy the body wash as well and you body wash with the scent and then you spray it on when you're getting ready and it's a lot, your scent will last way longer on you and that's a really cool tip if you don't know. Uh, the next couple of things I'm excited about are new lipsticks. So I kind of stick with clear gloss, lip balm, and red lipstick. Those are just kind of my go-tos. But I've been watching other beauty bloggers and I've really loved the browns that they're experimenting with since we're in fall. So I decided to pick up a few more fall colors. I'm wearing one of them and the one I'm wearing is by La Rock. It's called Secret Agent and I've never done browns mauve -y. It's not really mauve but it's like a purpley, more brown, natural color. And I really like it. I put it on when I bought it. I bought it at Ulta and I was like, hell yeah. So excited about that. But I made sure to buy a lip liner with it because it's always good so you don't have any feathering or any bleeding. So um, I didn't buy a Lorac one, but I bought this one by Too Faced and it's called something it's called perfect spice and it's actually the same color as my lip like with no lipsticks like actually my skin tone lip color and that's really cool because if I want to kind of add an extra dimension with gloss I think that'll be a fun option another nude color I bought was by Urban Decay and it's another nude it's not so brown like the one I'm wearing but it's actually more flesh tone so that's pretty cool and it works with that uh, Too Faced lip liner I bought and this color is called Stark Naked. So again, I don't wear too much makeup, so I like things that are a little bit of a pop. And that's just me because I'm lazy. I need to get over it and experiment with makeup, but I'm so lazy. So I'm baby stepping myself with lip colors. Uh, another one was, this one's by Ulta. It's called the Matte Lip Cream. I wore it last week in my last video. Um, I really liked it. And I just like that it's really rich. Uh, they were having a promo, so my best friend and I were there and we bought it for four bucks, which we were super stoked about because we wanted a richer red wine color for a new, like a matte wine color lip, something lippy. And this was on sale and we really loved it. I will say that we both noticed it takes a while to dry, so put it on in layers and let it dry and then layer. I saw it not settling and drying nice when I, you know, kept layering it on. So it just got kind of glossy almost, but with time it actually does dry. And this one is called Stirring. So if you want to check that out, I love this one. Let's see what else. Oh, and then Too Faced, I purchased a sample of their Better Than Sex Mascara. I wanted to try it. It was like 20 something bucks, but before I committed, I bought the sample. <coughs> so before I committed, I bought the sample. And I really like it. I like that it layers and volumizes and it's pretty dramatic, not crazy dramatic, but I really like it. So once this is finished, I think I'm going to purchase the full size item and I've been really happy with it. I will tell you though, I used to curl my eyelashes a lot and then I just stopped because I, for one day, really didn't notice any difference without my eyelash curler. I don't know if it's, you know, based on my eyelashes or whatnot, but I've been really happy not using an eyelash curler and I noticed my lashes aren't so sparse. So if you're interested in knowing that information, maybe try mascara without an eyelash curler because I've been pretty happy without it and I've it's probably been about a year and a half and I haven't noticed a difference with curling and without. So check out this mascara, I really like it. What else, what else do I have? Uh, next thing is skincare uh, because I have, it's a weird thing, I'm oily, and I'm sensitive, and I'm dry. It's like the weirdest combination, and it's really annoying because some months I'm really broken out, some months I'm not, and uh, that also has a lot to do with moisturizer, so I'm dry, but if I use too much moisturizer, then I'm breaking out, but if I'm dry, I'm really flaky, and it's just finding that balance, and I'm really happy to find, I found a moisturizer by Mario Badescu, and this was the Control Moisture for Oily Skin. And it's been amazing. It like is not too uh, moisturizing. It's moisturizing enough and it's not too much where I'm breaking out. So I'm so excited. And it's also kind of mattifying, which is like a godsend. So I'm very happy with this. It wasn't too expensive. I picked it up at Ulta. 
So if you've been experimenting and you want a moisturizer and if you have sensitive skin like me, give it a try. I'm really a big fan of it. So if you want to check it out, be sure to check it out. Another thing that I picked up is the Cucumber Tonic Mask. And what's really great about this is actually pore tightening. And I've not I noticed I haven't really have had too many clogged pores. And so I, I guess, you know, when your pores are open, more things, junk gets in it, makeup, dirt, debris. And so I've noticed with the tonic mask, pore tightening, and then I'll use a pore minimizer primer under my foundation. And I've been really great. I haven't had too many, you know, clogged pores, whiteheads. And so a total fan of this, you know, if you want to check it out beauty favorite right now and another beauty favorite post shower so I'm also very dry as well so I again with my organic it's like a balance I have an, a balance of organic products if you want to hear uh, what shampoos and body washes that I use because those are all fully organic let me know and um, maybe you want to comment down and I'll be sure to do a video on that but a little tidbit is I love almond oil and this one's their coconut. It's actually body lotion. And when I'm at in the shower, still have, you know, still wet, just turn the shower off, I will moisturize with oil, wet, and I just put it all over. And I've it's been a great way to stay moisturized. I haven't noticed being, you know, being too dry, and I really love it. I also use coconut oil in the shower as well. Uh, I don't know if any of you girls wax, but I do, and sometimes I get ingrowns. But my waxer told me to use coconut oil in the shower because it's moisturizing. Make sure you scrub your body and um, also use a coconut oil because it's actually anti antimicrobial. I don't know how she worded it, but it also you know cleans. I guess it has properties in coconut oil where it actually kind of cleans and disinfects in its own way. Um, and that was been cool too. So if you have ingrown hairs, it kind of soothes it and you know makes it not as irritating. And so yeah, so I love almond oil, coconut oil. Um, there's different oils you can get, but again, because my skin's pretty sensitive, I've stopped using you know brands like Neutrogena and you know other you know main drugstore products. So I'll buy mine at the health food store when I'm at Sprouts or Whole Foods. I'll I always tend to buy my body wash, body scrub, moisturizer, and hair care stuff. So if you guys want to hear a video about that, I'd love to share it. But yeah, so all about a body oil in the shower. And next I want to talk about are these V Code eye masks, and they're really great because. You put them on before you go to bed. You leave it on for eight hours. It's about getting rid of dark circles, puffiness, wrinkles. And because I'm in grad school, so I tend to go to bed late and wake up puffy-eyed. And it's always annoying because you don't feel refreshed or look refreshed. And so when you can have something that will help you refresh while you're not sleeping to be refreshed, all about these. These eye patches, super awesome. They come in a box and... I got, you get four of them per box and there's two patches per eye. And so let's say if I forget to put it on the night before and um, I will put it maybe an hour before I'm doing my makeup. So if I'm gonna go out that night, I love to put these in a little bit more refreshed look and I won't wait the whole hours just because I don't have the time, but I've noticed that it's been great as well. So again, these are V-Code, the Oxygen Eye Mask and totally a fan of these. So be sure to check those out. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more of these types of videos. Maybe you want something different than my fashion videos, but I just kind of wanted to share products I'm loving right now, um, some of my favorites. And so if you want to know more, maybe if you want to know about my organic beauty skin, like how I take care of myself, my shampoos, conditioners, whatnot, let me know. I would love to share with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,